This is John, the Visor Guy with Visor Guy Health again, and I'm just uh, recording outside because for my intro, just because I love being outside. If you've ever followed my uh, any of my videos, that I'm always outside and I'm always talking about being active, being outside. So I thought it would be good just to do my intro from outside on this gorgeous sunny day. And um, basically, I just want to talk about my first meal, my first meal, which is people find really, really disgusting. And um, but I love it. It's extremely healthy and is oatmeal two fried eggs or two eggs and then uh, half an avocado and salsa and i mix it all together and i eat it that is so good for me it's so easy to digest the calorie intake the fat intake is just simulated and but here's the kicker it holds me over for a long long time so i'm not really craving any foods or anything like that right afterwards an hour or two the other thing is i don't eat just because it says seven o'clock you need to eat breakfast i eat when i'm hungry and we've been told you must eat at a certain time but if you look at other countries you know that we eat way too much food our breakfast is huge when you go to other countries their breakfast is much smaller if they have breakfast usually you'll see something like a continental breakfast if you go to asia it's a smaller breakfast portion control is super important i'm not saying anything that no one doesn't understand or know about but we have entirely too many fat people unhealthy people in this country because we eat too much food our portions are gigantic in this country. And you go to another country, you know that to be true. If you came from another country, you for sure know that to be true. And so everything is just supersized in this country. The other thing that I wanna talk about is know your break-even point. Without knowing your break-even point, like a teeter-totter, how do you know if you've eaten too much or not enough? And so even today, I'm about 2,000 calories. I feel it when I eat 1,800 or 1,700, especially 17. When I say go hit around 1,700 calories, you can see it changing the next day because I, my body just reacts if I don't eat enough. And if I eat too much, let's say 2,500 calories, I'm okay. But if I eat 2,500 calories the next day and the day after that, now I start to really feel it. And that's what I mean. You got to know your caloric break-even point. Now, that doesn't mean you can't eat a hamburger, you don't eat, you can't eat fries and all of that stuff. I do eat that, I do, I do. And I'm not advocating that that's what you should eat. It's that knowing how many calories and fat context that you can take in, that will help you know, I ate too much if I need to um, eat more veggies, drink juice later on after, flush my system out, or not eat as much the next day. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about some radical diet or anything like that. Um, so know your break even point, super, super important. Again, I'm not saying anything that you don't know. It's just a matter of repeat and discipline. That's all. And hey, if you have any questions, uh, if you have any comments, please drop me comment. And especially if you find my first meal disgusting and um, I just, I like to hear it. All right, now let's watch the video. And after that, stay tuned for my last comments. A disgusting breakfast that people cringe when they see me eat it, they think it's gross. Oh, gross. Hey everyone, this is John, the Visor Guy with Visor Guy Health again. And this video is a little bit um, different. It's fun and it's a little bit, when you see what I do, it's kind of a, a little bit disgusting just because of my food that I eat. All right guys, so this is uh, my breakfast meal. So this is the first meal of the day. And my first meal, I, I don't, I eat breakfast around um, anywhere from 10 o'clock to two o'clock. And that's kind of my breakfast or my first meal. And um, I didn't know I was doing intermittent fasting, but uh, apparently I am. I'm not really that hungry in the morning or I just force myself to eat later in the day. And so this is the um, oatmeal. This, I put something gross in it, salsa. Avocados or half. I use half an avocado and then I fry two eggs, which I'll take you through the process what I what I do. I already have my coffee this morning and so I love just having that as a routine. So um, it's not only because I love coffee. Uh, my family grew up with coffee. Uh, we have, uh, well, they kind of got rid of the coffee farm down in Panama. Coffee is just great, not just for the taste, but that routine, as I said, for um, getting that whole, flushing out your system in the morning. I mean, that is so important. Get all the toxins, the garbage, literally, I mean, crap, that's 
in there that needs to get out. And so to be regular, so it's a good diuretic, but the health benefits of coffee has been well documented. And so I think, you know, don't overdo it, of course. I drink about two cups and uh, every single day. Um, and then I cut it off at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the process of me making the uh, my first meal. I add butter for the flavoring just because my oatmeal is very, you know, I'm, bland it's not very flavorful so the butter just adds a little bit of good taste um, and as you can see the eggs are cooking i actually like to add water it kind of it, it steams the egg and then um, i use butter and so the butter what happens is um, i actually rinse it off so i don't really get that much butter in the eggs it's just you'll get the flavor of butter um, oh, the, so uh, the thing is, is I just gauge my calories. I just gauge the quantity and then make sure I have enough cardio and exercise. That's it. Trick is I don't over. The eggs are almost done. So I just added water to the oatmeal. See that? And I microwave it for two minutes and that's it. And by then the eggs are already done and ready to go. I just slice up the avocado and add the salsa. So oatmeal's all done. Stir it up. I'm gonna add avocados to it. I already sliced it up in halves. I only use a half. I save the other half for later on, tonight for dinner or tomorrow. Look at that, I just slice it. I add it. Next, take the eggs. See how dry it is already? There's no water. I've already dumped it out. So it's just eggs, no butter or anything. Other than the trace, the trace um, taste in it. Just cut it up so it's easier to manage. Add the salsa. I do two generous servings of salsa flavor. I, that's it. So this is my, look at that. Salsa, eggs, oatmeal, avocado. This is my disgusting breakfast that people cringe when they see me eat it. They think it's gross, but it's all in one meal. It's quick, easy to go. I eat it. It's easy to prepare at work. It's, it's, and it holds you over forever. So this is great. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Until next time, I'll see you later. I want to close on this. This is a bird's eye view. This is in no way detailed analysis or breakdown of calories, nutrition, diet, eating habits, what you should or should not do. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you find my uh, first meal of the day disgusting or interesting, please leave a comment. And then I'll probably do one more thing. I'll probably make one more breakfast that's really good it's tasty and it looks great and it's super healthy for you not these flax seeds or anything like that it's real food again stay tuned for my next videos that i keep on releasing because it's going to be exercise and it's going to be pain management along with nutrition eating habits hang loose have a great day